Okay, so let's get dirty. We'll start with AGC. Wikipedia describes automatic gain control as a closed loop regulating circuit, the purpose of which is to provide a controlled signal amplitude at its output, despite variation of the amplitude in the input signal. The average or peak output signal level is used to dynamically adjust the input to output gain to a suitable level, enabling the circuit to work satisfactorily with a greater range of input signal levels. For example, without AGC, the sound emitted from an AM radio receiver would vary to an extreme extent from a weak to a strong signal. The AGC effectively reduces the volume if the signal is strong and raises it when it is weaker. <sighs> this video looks at the gated AGC, which is a slow acting leveling block. This means it tries to keep the input signal to the multiband processor at a constant level. AGC can be used on its own to provide a more constant output signal or in conjunction with other audio processing features. The gated AGC, as we have seen, can be switched on or off and has two controls the gate threshold and the maximum gain. The gating function increments the release time to the multiband processor to prevent noise rush up during quieter sections of the audio tracks. Both AGC and the multiband compressor will not remain stuck forever but they will recover the maximum gain in about one minute. The maximum gain is the higher audio limit which can be sent to the multiband processor. The gate threshold should be set between minus 30 to minus 40 decibels for most music, but as with each option, personal taste is paramount. By playing the heavier sound of Black Sabbath, we can better understand the effects both the gate and max gain have. Starting with gate at minus 90 decibels and the max gain at 0 decibels, we can hear that this is the same as not using the gated AGC. However, by raising the max gain, we are raising the maximum level which is allowed to pass to the multiband processor. As this is a slow acting leveler, we can see the level rises slower than the control moves. You can also see the final output is well out of the green and this would not make for a great listening experience. By setting the gate to zero decibels, the track sounds muffled with maximum gain. As mentioned, we recommend setting the gate to between minus 30 and minus 40, and with the gate set, we can set the max gain at a level which keeps the AGC in the green, whilst being mindful of the effect this will have on louder or quieter tracks. You should notice the track sounds quite punchy, and this is an improvement on the previous settings. This gives a better sound to work with.